I've never raced. Now I have to put on a number and I'm gonna learn from the pro. Okay, Tara, this is the number one team. What a lineup we got here. What are we doing today? We're gonna visit Kubeka. What are we we're doing gonna, there? We're gonna give some bikes to the kids. Hand over the bikes. Looking forward. Maybe it's gonna be emotional. I think it's Maybe. gonna be emotional. It's gonna be very emotional. a movie and then okay, rode back so I told her what I do and I I mean she's the future Ironman star I think because she just rides that on her bike it's pretty impressive yeah. for sure yeah with our lunch and our fellow Italians here are shocked. We are shocked. No words. Emma <laughs> guy, yeah? <laughs> what is this? I have a cappuccino. <laughs> cappuccino. No. Not cappuccino. cappuccino. It's cappuccino. cappuccino. No cappuccino. Okay. <laughs> So since I live in Girona, I hang out with a lot of athlete and athletes and I feel like that nobody really talks about eating disorders for men and I think especially in pro sport that really is a thing. So I have these for you guys here. We're gonna answer the question, are eating disorders still a thing in the pro peloton? Maybe for some climbers but like I'm, I'm maybe the wrong person to ask because I I eat quite a lot. I don't need to look too much on my weight, so yeah. But for sure, like yeah. there are professional riders where they put the sunglasses on, yeah, uh, and also, like, who have a scale and they weigh their pasta and their rice and all this small stuff. But I'm not like this. He is like he weighs everything. He told me. Yeah. 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 I, I I actually used to have a like a proper eating disorder. <laughs> no, I swear to God, I was like. 12 kilos lighter than I am now, like okay. at the same height. I was, 60, well, yeah, I was 66 kilos for like one meter 90. That's Because when I stopped short course, I was like 
in my head I had to get faster at running and the only way to do that was to get lighter. So I was just like, I was doing heaps of intermediate fasting, like, and I was just a horrible person to be around. <laughs> and, um, yeah. but I, I think in triathlon it's less of an issue uh, from what I think we have to, yeah, we have to, we maybe do more volume than cyclists in total hours because we have another two other sports. So actually like lots of guys almost struggle to get enough calories in or like, it's not that we struggle to get enough calories in, but like my stomach str struggles to follow, to absorb enough food to, to train almost like my body will just shut down like, because I'm tired from eating almost, you know, because it can't keep up with the, the kind of expenditure as well. Yeah. What's your catch on that? <laughs> I don't know, like, I, I do weigh, I do yeah. weigh my food though, like, but depending on the time of the year, like, because for me, I easily eat too much. So it kind of restricts me, but and I think the climbers are more crazy because there it's really about what's per kilo. But you might be, and let's say you could be maybe even stronger if you add to your hunger. Like on, on I'm talking like for Roubaix or yeah, yeah. Surely if your body's telling you to. Eat. Yeah, I had I restricted myself a lot, like yeah. during the Olympics, and yeah. I think where it's dangerous when yeah the, the mind also suffers and. If you restrict yourself um, for like six or nine months and then you have a break and then you go totally crazy, um, yeah, that's definitely not so healthy. So I try to find a way to be more balanced. might be one of the hardest rides of my life and it's not even recovery for them. Slow you down too much. Not at all. Good <laughs> fun. Enjoying the views. <laughs> okay. I had 10 minutes to get ready. And now we're going to have a fancy dinner. Everybody looks super fancy and uh, yeah, I got I had 10 minutes, so that's all they got. These guys, wow. So handsome. Pretty. Hey. Hey. <laughs> what up? What the? Uh, it's a uh, vlog and uh, we are here at the party. Alina is very drunk so I had to take over the camera and yeah I mean what, what can I say uh, it's for me it's strange to be an influencer right now but I really like it and uh, yeah so they, they have like a drinking competition now so I will swap the camera. I'm not drunk. Solo un poquito. Have we done? 